Hi, I'm Nina, and I'm here with... Michael Brennan Page. I didn't pin you as a Pomeranian guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girlfriend's dog, not mine. Uh, it's a cool dog, though, too. It's a cool dog. My dog is uh, a lot bigger than that. What kind of dog do you have? It's an uh, uh, American staff. So, yeah, so, oh, uh, yeah. He's, he's a big boy. Yeah, I have two... Um, Pitbulls. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, but they're, they're like big babies, though. They man. are, so, they're like lap dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just loves cuddling and dog. he's amazingly trained, unbelievable dog. Um, but Trying yeah. to kill. No, 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 no. Seriously, he just, like, he's, he's the palm raining probably would do more damage. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been to a couple dog parks. They're what, what, over here. They're feisty. No, back. I'm from New York, so okay, like, okay, okay. people have a lot of small dogs over there. Yeah, yeah, they and are they, the ones. They're that, feisty. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah. Really feisty. <laughs> okay, so this is like a getting to know MVP. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you a bunch of really random rapid fire questions. Cool, cool, cool. Favorite movie? Everyone asks me this. I, I always All find right. it difficult to narrow down, but okay. But, top, top three. Yeah. So the, anyway, sure. I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with Matrix because I, I like it. From That's Matrix. my favorite movie. You're lying to me. Man. I no, okay. I sh you not. The Matrix, the I first one, is my favorite. Okay, okay. Absolute favorite. Trinity, man, if I could be Trinity in that's my next one. life, that's I would be <laughs> dude coming out in that latex bodysuit. Yeah, that's why I liked it. Yeah. Trinity. Like, yeah, the, I think that's why most people body. the latex yeah, you yeah, like yeah. latex bodysuits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay. What what did you think of the last two? Nah, not a, not a massive fan in, in how it kind of progressed, <laughs> but that me the, neither. The first one for me was just it, it was, was so it was ahead perfect. Of its time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far ahead of its time, so relatable, so relevant. Yeah. Relevant, yeah. dude. She was a genius. You know that uh, Neo in the Matrix was the little boy from the Terminator. So that's the sort of the writer. I forget the lady's name, but yeah, she. I remember her talking about that, and I was like, that's genius. Genius. That's genius. So her writing is because she. I'm sure she sued them for take uh, some backstory anyway, but um, yeah, her, her level of writing is unbelievable. Because the storyline behind it is insane. And mm. I'm like, less Fifty Shades of Grey, more Matrix. <laughs> yes, way more Matrix. My <laughs> favorite band. Again, that music so much. I'm gonna just throw a random one out there just because I was obsessed with them for, at one point, Maroon 5. Dude, songs about Jane? Yes. Dude, are we so having the same, we have the same brain. Yeah, just yeah. locked in. And she will be loved. See, there you yeah. go. Yeah. I don't mind. I was gonna hit the note, but you know I didn't want to embarrass you, so can't embarrass me. <laughs> okay, favorite place to visit? Um, I'm gonna say Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ghana. There's again, every, everything is bringing something different, but Ghana, the people, the food, the mm. music, the energy, just yeah, yeah. So Ghana right now. I like that. Uh, your favorite food or genre of food? I'm gonna go with the Caribbean just because that's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So Jamaican food for me mm -hmm. at the top, and then just everywhere else has their little flavor as well. So, yeah. so like, let's say you're in. Let's say your girlfriend's like, I'm hungry. Would you? Would you go? Would you be like, all right, let's get Caribbean food, or would you be like, all right, let's do Chinese takeout? Yeah, it depends. Like, London is very. It's a melting pot of so many different cultures. I have like my delivery and my Uber has everything around me. So I the, the, need more Mexican food. There's not a lot of Mexicans out there. Well, I have a Mexican restaurant in in, yeah. the, in the UK. Yeah, you gotta come. You have a Mexican restaurant? Yeah. Dude, who are you? Yeah. Okay, you have a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Is it the only one in the UK? No, no, there are, there are a few. It's the best one in the UK. Okay, wait, hold on. So like Mexican Mexican or like westernized Mexican? Nah, Mexican. When, is you, it like... when you come to the UK, you're just going to have to... Just but where do you down. get your avocados from? <laughs> there's so many avocados in London. <laughs> no, there's what? not. No, there's, there's so, not. There's so many avocados. You guys have avocados in London? Yeah. What? Dude. <laughs> you don't travel much, do you? <laughs> <laughs> That's trippy. Okay, what's your favorite Mexican? Wait, hold on. So you have a Mexican restaurant, but your favorite food is Caribbean food. Yeah. So is your second favorite food Mexican food? No. What? Chinese food. Chinese food? Again, what's the name of your restaurant? Uh, Ixshell. Eggshell? Ixshell. Ixshell? Yeah. What does that mean? Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite book? Again. I enjoyed this one just because of how they kind of do it. So I'm going to say the 5 a.m. club. The 5 a.m. club? Yeah, it's very different. It's not. It's, it's literally a, a story about, you know, waking up early and just how to live your life and stuff. So I'm mm -hmm. preparing yourself. Do you believe uh, the circadian rhythm theory is real? No. Yeah, me neither. I was, this woman tried to scare the sh out of me on TikTok. She said, if you don't fall, if you fall asleep after 10 p.m. twice a week, 
you shorten your lifespan by like decades. They and I don't think I've ever fallen asleep before 10 p.m. in my life. Everyone talks about the, the, the obviously the power of sleep, and there's so many different theories. But again, it's they're all they're all theories, and I think everybody is slightly different. But I do believe there is definitely massive benefits to sleeping well, even though I don't sleep well. Do you think we've been to the moon? Have we been to the moon? Yeah. It's an interesting question. No, I don't think we've been to the moon. Me neither. No. I think it's a lie. I do too. I think <laughs> space is a lie. You think the whole of space is a lie? I think all of space is a f***ing lie. It's a huge lie. There's a theory that that actually above us isn't space. It's just water. The water, yeah, another water. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's weird, right? But are you a flat earther then? Oh, uh, yeah. You are? Sometimes. You have to think about it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes. I wouldn't say it's necessarily flat, more so larger than we think it is. Yeah. Uh, and not round. I agree with that. Okay, would you rather go to prison for a month or be on house arrest for six months? House arrest. Can I have people with me in my house? I should have thought about that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back to me. No, a Pomeranian. Just, just a Pomeranian. <laughs> for six months, it's just you and your Pomeranian. No, it's a good prison. I'm, nah, nah, I'll stay in my house. Okay, like let's say you were go to prison, like would you start your own gang? Would I start my... Or would you like fight into an existing gang? Would you be in the Mexican gang? <laughs> 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 or would it be the Caribbean gang? Uh, you know, I, I draw people to me, so I just create my own gang. Your own gang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I respect it. Veganism or cannibalism? Cannibalism. Really? <laughs> so quick, so quick Very too. <laughs> okay. Anything opposite to veganism? Anything other than veganism? You're a vegan, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather lose all your teeth or all your fingers? Really? Teeth? You're no teeth guy. No teeth guy. Why is that? Time to hit people. Oh, that's true. It's my job to hit people. I can get some fancy veneers or something put in. That's true. <laughs> Man, that question was so much harder for me to answer <laughs> than for you. <laughs> that's so true. Okay. Uh, would you rather be bitten by a snake in your balls or a jellyfish in your butt? <laughs> uh, um, jellyfish. Uh, jellyfish, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they don't yeah. bite, they sting, right? They sting so, your butt yeah, hole, yeah. Yeah, balls, keep my balls safe. <laughs> then you'd have to have someone pee on it. That's fine. The, uh, that, no one is sucking my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Other than my girlfriend, so. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, you gotta keep the snakes away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, what's the weirdest dream you've ever had? The weirdest dream? Uh. Actually, the weirdest dream was probably my my t nah. I can't say that one. It was just weird because I know nah. It's it's no 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 no. I say that it's only because we just spoke about it, but mm. it was weird because it was the first time I've ever first and last time I've ever had it with my teeth falling out. Falling out. Mm -hmm. So it was it was just very unique for me. So that's why I found it so weird. So um, you've already been there. Yeah, technically already been there. Yeah. 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 But weirdest dream I'd say is when I knew I was in a dream and couldn't wake up. I get those. Regularly? Yeah. Oh, I've only had it once. Yeah, yeah I, I get sorry those for you. a lot. It sucks. Dude, they're horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Unless people have ever experienced it, they're probably, it's probably one of the worst feelings. Yeah, 100%. Do you think dreams are just an extension of our life in a different dimension? That's a very deep question, and uh, I couldn't tell you. It could be portals to diff uh, different dimensions, like you say, but yeah. couldn't tell you. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and I've, I've done some weird. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you seem to astro project regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Done some weird. Shit. I mean, the Matrix. If you think about the Matrix, it's just mm. another dimension. Yeah, yeah of something true. that already exists. We are in a Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a kid from middle school you would beat the <laughs> out of now if you seen him? Nah, not nah, not really. I was already. I was always pretty lucky because I was like the Joker, and I had just a lot of people that would back me up from a young age. And then when I needed to defend myself, I realized I was like, oh. Pretty strong for my age, so yeah, I was. I'd so you were just always beating up kids. Yeah, I'm probably that guy that <laughs> people want to beat up, and then I became an MMA fighter. So, so like, now ah. they're like, no, like <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're have, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I believe in other. There's definitely other life forms, in my opinion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because there's a theory. Okay, so I. I okay. 
I don't know if aliens have ever breached the firmament mm -hmm. from outside space, mm -hmm. come into Earth, and hung around, or if they're just part of the extension of our world beyond the ice wall, where they have a higher form of technology in existence, and they come over here and check us out because we're just like, like a show to them or something. You know what I mean? So it's like, I believe that aliens exist. <clears throat> you, know, aliens you know about not, Anunnaki? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Not carry on. <laughs> we can get into it, but yeah. they're shaking. I know, I know my boyfriend's eyes. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it right now. Yeah. Well, there's a land beyond that they've considered where the Anunnaki are from that they still exist. And, but I think that we're all part of it. Or we're just kind of like, um, like body bags, like part of, like for instance, it's like you know the part in the Matrix where we're just being used as human batteries? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that is real and that we are human body, like human batteries and our souls, they just use our souls to put them into human body bags and they, they use us to fuel sort of like this matrix, kind of like external batteries. Like, you know when you put an external battery pack into your, your phone? Mm -hmm. Like you don't plug it yeah. directly into a wall? Mm -hmm. Something kind of like that. But I believe the Anunnaki are the original uh, like life force of Earth. Yeah, you know, yes, it's interesting because like I said, unless you've kind of gone into that realm and that rabbit hole, it's, there's, a, there's a lot, but I, yeah, I don't, I think we think too much of ourselves to believe that we were the first here and then everybody else is an alien, so, yeah, um, and that's why we don't understand so much of, like, pyramids and this and that, that Agreed. seems to be popping up, so, yeah, they're definitely the first, not, I don't think we are. No, we're absolutely not, because we're a mess. <laughs> okay, what, uh, what's the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? Mm, I already checked my DMs like that, so... You get some weird ones, but yeah, I don't, nothing that stands out to me. No dicks? No, I get more. <laughs> I was gonna say. You get more what? <laughs> In, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You get more what? <laughs> In our gym. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is this? Um, let me explain the story. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I'm here. They like to play pranks. Uh, in the gym. They take pictures of your dicks? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we get like fan mail and stuff, but mm -hmm. a lot of times if it gets to the gym before the actual, you know, who it's for gets there, it okay. usually gets replaced with stuff. Other people's dicks? <laughs> Ish. Dick. So, really? So you, I, I, had a, I had a fan mail saying obviously a uh, big fan of yours, da 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 da, da. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I'd love you to sign this picture, and behind <laughs> was, a, was just a naked guy. <laughs> 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 that That's wasn't the actual picture that was in there, but I was like, and they were like, what's wrong? I was like, nah, nothing, nothing. I tried to play with it. No, show me. What, what happened? I was like, nothing, nothing. I tried to just. Did you know the there. guy, or is it just a naked guy? No, it was just a random some naked guy. It would have been funnier if it was a naked guy from the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just made a wall of. <laughs> <laughs> you just made a wall of like dicks in your gym. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so let's say we were under attack from, an, from aliens. Mm -hmm. Who are three fighters you would want on your team to like fight off aliens? Mm. Three fighters. I'll say Mike Perry, because <laughs> that guy's crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. He'd, he'd be the guy that just runs in first, and that would let me, uh, help me understand how powerful these aliens are. Cause oh, he's a sacrifice. He's the sacrifice. Okay, got it. Not because I made him, he's just that guy that will be he the would, first. He would, yeah. Just, but you, you pick know. him because you're like, I, I love the guy, but he would definitely he be He would the definitely sacrifice. be but the like, guy. But like, not because I, I manipulated him. Yeah, no, no, he just. He just would do so it. So there's aliens, oh, yeah, gone. I wouldn't even finish my sentence, he's gone. He's, he's just, gone. He's trying yeah. to fight. got it. Um, who else? I'm gonna say Conor McGregor. <laughs> Only because he may have, a, after, you know, Mike Perry's gone, he goes next and he may have a chance of, like, partying with them. And, you know, okay, yeah. they'll be like, no, this yeah. guy's cool. And then he's like, oh, this is my friend over here. And then yeah. we are all cool. Oh, so, so he's, he's like, he, he bridges the gap between he's, alien exactly. and exactly. you. Just party animal. I think it's funny that you have, like, a line of defense. <laughs> Are you, I'm, and you just send everyone out <laughs> to see how they react, 100%. and you kind of hang back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mike Perry, Conor McGregor, and one other person. 
Well, by that point, we're partying, so I don't really need the other person. Oh, it's just like that. <laughs> and then you just get Mexican food after. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I have some fan questions. Um, everyone wants to know about the knee you hit Cyborg with. Mm -hmm. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they saw how it was. For me, what was most surprising for me is that normally, obviously, bone on bone and even just like after fights in general, you, mm -hmm. you, know, you have sores and aches and bruises and sometimes it's not necessar necessarily from what, where you've been hit, it's where you've hit somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just that, that impact. And I had nothing, no bruise, no Damn. cut, no nothing. It, I, it, like it never happened, but like, it did. Yeah, it was, it was strange because I was expecting my knee to swell up or mm -hmm. like I said, there'd be a cut on there, but nothing. So yeah, in terms of effect on me, no effect. Obviously it was a damaging shot. Um, and obviously one of the most memorable things for, of my career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, say it's, I would say so. What's your favorite dance move? I love dancing. I love dancing too much. I have no specific dance move that is my favorite dance move. What about like the Venom? Is, can you show me? <laughs> 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 if, I, if I understood what that was. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you had like one like locked oh, away. Oh, specifically that I do. Yeah, called like the Venom. It's interesting because it's like you don't want to be bitten the balls by a snake, but you <laughs> you want to inflict a snake bite onto someone else. Not their balls, though. Not, yeah, not the balls, though. Yeah. What about, like, um, is it like you want to, you wanna, like, get in their blood and take over their, their nervous system? <laughs> like, where does Venom <laughs> come from? <laughs> like, you just want to shut down their nervous system. Like, what is, where does Venom, when you, when you... <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> like, that, I was going to say, the question, <laughs> the question is, how do you get your nickname? Yeah, sorry, how do you get your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get your nickname? Uh, yeah, easy one. It was a, a guy, like an older brother to me, Marvin Francis. He used to train in our gym, mm. like uh, our extended family. He'd see me as a kid. I was probably about eight or nine, nine or ten. And um, he'd see me hitting uh, other kids and be like, for a, such a skinny guy, the effect on other kids was just was just strange. He'd just be like, oh, you got Venom. Like, he started, and just started calling me Venom. We were both into like kung fu movies, and he, uh, for a film called The Five Deadly Venoms, mm -hmm. we started making moves for each venom, like kicks and punches and stuff. And so you have moves. Fight moves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got uh, fight moves. moves. Got it. Yeah, got yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. Fight moves, and then yeah, it's just kind of stuck. And then obviously later on, somebody put together that it's Michael Venom Page, and it became MVP. That's pretty cool. Um, I had an Uber driver. Called Michael Venom Page. <laughs> <laughs> no, teach me kung fu. Oh, is it? Well, he tried While to drive him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was actually kind of weird. Like he had a rope in his center console, and he took it out, and he was like, "You should tie yourself up with it and see if you could get out." It was actually kind of scary when I repeat it because it doesn't sound like it was an instructional moment rather than like a he terrifying wasn't. one. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> but. He was showing me how to get out of like different. He said so he you was, tied like, yourself up. Yeah. So because he because he was gonna show me how to get out of it. I was like, dude, this is really useful information to learn because I was like really into anti kidnapping. So you content. You go allow a stranger to tie you up. I want to see if for, I can get out of it. Mm, your survival instinct is amazing. <laughs> so when we got out of the car, <laughs> he showed me in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So when we got out of the car, before we left, he was like, I want to show you a move. And I was like, oh, OK, cool, from like a kung fu master. And he showed me the one inch punch. This guy was not. <laughs> this guy was an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not real? N no. Not <laughs> I'm saying he was a, what he said he was, outside of a potentially just a kidnapper. Because he used to train in the park. <laughs> <laughs> when I say the story, it sounds so bad. It sounds so bad. That's because it is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he used to have these classes in the park. <laughs> he used it? to invite me to. 
was it just all women? <laughs> Which is die out. He's a genius. <laughs> 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 that, that's that's the line for you guys now, yeah. So I know, you know, I know kung fu. You know, you want to just tie yourself up. You know, I'll show you how to escape. In the, in the park. <laughs> well, the funny part is, he was my Uber driver more than once. Like he picked me up a few times. Oh, in LA. Yeah. See, I'm not Where lying. was you? <laughs> he was, I was in New York. You're supposed to be protected. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> You're just getting phone calls like, so he tied, he's tying you up now? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, God, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, wow. Do you think having an English accent gives you an edge? <laughs> in what? Being a spy? <laughs> In what? Uh, like in like uh, like in fighting. <laughs> you think? Hey, mate, I'm gonna punch you now. <laughs> oh man, your accent so. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Maybe it's distracting. You're like, bruv. <laughs> Get ready, bruv. And then they're like, what? And you're like. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna I'll try it this fight because you know Kevin talks so. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like maybe you just whip out the English accent, but like you put a little extra spice behind it. Okay, yeah. Mexican spice. Ooh, Mexican there spice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think of Power Slap? Oh, it's a joke. I, I absolutely hate it. Yeah. I just think it's why My thing is mm -hmm. more so beyond two people wanting to just allow somebody to slap them in the face. Yeah. Why do people watch it? I don't, I don't get no, it. I don't know why I watch you, it. You watch it, don't you? It's, I, I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe it's like the same reason why I'm, like, I, I was down to get tied up. I just to, want to, to see be fair, what would yeah. happen. Like, what would happen? That's the, <laughs> What's going to happen? That's the audience. Yeah, that's the audience. Yeah. It's the same audience. <laughs> it's the same audience for sure. Yeah, that, yeah. I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it at all. <laughs> Who is the most famous person in your contact list? Mm, I guess 50 Cent. No way. Yeah, why? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know um, you can find me in the club, bottle full of bub. Mama, I got what you need if you're in there feeling rough. Mm -hmm. I ain't having sex, I ain't in there making love, so come give me a hug if you're in and getting rough. You can find me out front, 50 cent on dubs. Is that what it is? And I roll 20 deep, there's always drama in the club. Now you want to roll with Dre, everybody show me love. When you sell like Eminem, you get plenty of groupie love. Ain't nothing change, ain't nothing change. Oh, down, G's up, I see exhibit in the club. Running all that weed up. If you watch how I move, you mistake me for a play old pimp. Been hit with a few shell, now I don't walk with a limp. In the hood, and the lady saying 50, you hot. They like me, I want them to love me like they love Pac. That's good. But holla at me in New York. Dude, you don't know the song? No. <laughs> <sighs> Weapon of choice? <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Weapon of choice. I'm going to change to rope. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to work. <laughs> I, that one's on me for sure. <laughs> All right, man. Any last words about life? Just enjoy life. Enjoy people. Don't look at the differences. We are all human. We are all the same thing. Just Unless you're a reptile. Love more. Unless you're a reptile. Um, love more. Love more. Cool. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this fighter? Hmm, five. Oh, okay. I've, I've, I'm a difficult. You're hard on, yeah, you're hard on people. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm the Simon Cowell of like, the X Factor. Because you know you're, X -Factor, both, right? you're both British. <laughs> That's why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate yourself as a fighter? Seven. Really? Yeah. Because you're hard on yourself. Everybody. Everyone Hard on everybody. Yeah, everyone yeah, can yeah. get it. Everybody get it. Do you think other fighters would feel the same? Everyone's going to have like different opinions for, for whatever reason, but mine's the most important for me.
answer. What would you rate me on a scale of one to 10 as an interviewer? And that's it, everybody. I was gonna say, the time is just, <laughs> it's uh, skin past bone right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it with Michael Venom Page. There you go, there you go. <laughs>